Well, how long have you guys been married? Almost uh, six years and a little bit of change. Did I miss anything? Two women falling in love. With each other? Funny thing is, nobody noticed. Not even the husband. I'm sorry, I missed that. I imagine he will be too. There is a story about the Greek gods. They were bored, so they invented human beings. Bradley, we have to talk. But they were still bored, so they invented love. Then they weren't bored any longer. You need anybody to work here? Yes. Yeah, but why here? Just kind of felt the harmonic convergence in this place. Uh, she's right. So they decided to try love for themselves. And finally, <laughs> they invented laughter. <laughs> so they could stand it. Try focusing on simple pleasures. I got my hair, right, Harry? As a start. I got my little dog, loyal companion. I'm really sorry, Bradley, but you can't have the dog back. We're going to keep him. That, that's my dog. Not anymore. He's bonded with us. No, wait. His name is Gumbo now. Wait. I don't know if you've heard or not, but uh, your Aunt Catherine has gone away to a place where boys aren't allowed. So you're the honest type. To a fault. Bradley's in love again. <laughs> not scared of anything. Marry me. She is so smart and sexy and unpredictable. I think I'd proceed with caution. At least it was a man this time. Thought that might be a consolation. It's not. Everything we need to know is going on right in front of our eyes. Yeah, we have our illusions about people, our hopes, and they can blind us. Do you think love is a trick? Or do you think that it's the only meaning there is to this crazy dream? Which do you believe? The second one. Do you want to have dinner with me sometime? <laughs> Feast of Love.